Hi, so, um, first of all, pardon my voice, I'm not feeling that great. Now, I actually cleaned up my desk a little bit and had started pulling out the things for day 16 and realized I hadn't started re recording. So I went ahead and um, turned on the camera. Now, today, what I'm documenting is our Christmas card. And I really wasn't sure if I wanted to just put the card in the album or if I wanted to leave it in its envelope. And ultimately, I decided to leave it in its on envelope because um, our name and our address is imprinted on the back, and it's underneath of that die cut right there. And um, I really like the look of it, and so I decided to keep it in the album. And there's our Christmas card. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Um, I've had this dream of having us look at Cinderella Castle in Disney World with all of us with embroidered uh, Mickey ears, and that happened um, on our March 2017 Disney trip, and I decided to make our Christmas card out of there. Now, I just wanted to mat it on black because that white would start such a stark contrast um, against the background paper there. Now, I also had one of these inserts that were included in Some Simple Stories uh, kit. I think it was this one. I think it, I think it came with this uh, binder. But it had Santa Claus on the other side of it, and I did not want to use Santa Claus, um, so I decided to use one of the other snap papers and just cut out around it and covered Santa Claus up. And I wanted to build a little cluster over here, basically um, just saying like greetings that you would see on Christmas cards, like Happy Holidays, Season's Greetings, Merry and Bright, um, Holly Jolly. So I just wanted to figure out something that I could layer up. And um, I really liked what I came up with. It made me happy. Now, this little piece right here, I had cut out um, while I was cleaning up my desk. And I had accidentally cut off part of the side. And I just went with it and let the banner kind of look a little wonky. And I was cool with that. And then I'm just using a little labor label here just to show off that scalloped edge on that season's greetings die cut piece and the what I write on this tag or not tag this label a little bit later is this is the second year I actually sent out cards so last year um, I made cards and sent them out and um, they were just basic you know embossed little cards and I liked them I thought that they were cute and this year I decided to have them made because you know my my Disney castle and Mickey ears dream came true. And I knew I wanted to bring the black color up here. Like I wanted, I wanted the black to pop a little bit more. Cause so I do have the black dots and the black border on my envelope on the left hand side. And at first I thought I was just going to make this tag like super long and I even cut it so you could see the word peace. But to actually see the word peace, it looks like it's, you know, off to the side and it's kind of wild like wonky wild and not not in a good way so I decided oh maybe I'll try this little holly jolly and I liked the color I I thought it was good but it really it really didn't like make me happy so I'm digging through my little ephemera and I'm thinking oh maybe a Christmas tree but you know I was getting there was just too much red borders. So I'm just flipping through um, die cuts and, and trying to see what I want to do. And I really thought I was going to use this postage stamp over here because, um, you know, it's a Christmas card, but that didn't, that did not work out either. So that guy's going to come off of there. And I just decide, you know what, forget it. I'm not going to add anything there. I feel like it needs something, but I'm like, it's not going to be paper. There's going to be something else that goes there, and I'll have to figure it out. Little did I know, it was paper that ended up going there. I mean, who knew? So I went ahead and um, did that. The pen I had originally pulled out had way too big of a tip on it. Um, I just needed two quick little lines, but I really did not have a lot of space. So I needed a fine, 
fine pen, and I think I used, what did I use? I don't know, uh, 01 or something, maybe, maybe an 03, an 03 or an 01, I used, I used a smaller one. And I decided to bring in the hearts, and I end up with three, and that makes me perfectly happy, like three hearts is good, and I thought that that little heart was going to fill in that space that I need it, and I was like, no, it, it definitely needs something there, so I'm going to put it where these two die cuts overlap. And then I pull out these Christmas word stickers, and I think they're from Authentic, and um, I'm like trying to figure out what I want, because I need more black on the page, and the first word I pick is holidays, but I've already got happy holidays right there, so I didn't want to repeat it. So I decided to go with merry and bright, because that's, you know, another one of the Christmas phrases. And it doesn't go there. Like, I'm like, no, that's that's not where I want it. So I, I um, layer it over here on top of season's greetings, and that makes me much happier. And I just go ahead and press them down and rub them in so that they uh, really press down onto that paper. And then I'm like, oh, I'll bring in this little edge. But when I put the tag that direction, the deer that is on that tag is upside down. And I couldn't do that to the deer. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't make that poor little deer be upside down. So I grabbed another tag and just cut off the very tip of it and had to pull up the glue there. And for now, I just left that uh, little white string that came in with it. And for right now, I'm completely, completely cool with it. And I'm thinking there's got to be something over here on this card. And I'm trying to figure out what and where the thing is going to go. So I bring back down the postage stamp. And the postage stamp is actually on it right now. But honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to stay there. Like, I haven't. I haven't decided that yet. And I think, oh, maybe I'll put this postcard and cover up the little Santa face, or maybe I'll cover up the North Pole. And I was like, no, that doesn't work either. And I'm like, <sighs> frustrated. I'm looking around for something. I'm looking at my die cuts and my paper, and I'm like, I just cleaned up everything, and now I've got stuff all over a mess. And then I think, you know what? I'm going to do this little holly over there, and I'm going to nestle it on our between our name and our address. And I decide that I want it something more than just this flat die cut on top of this flat white paper. So I grab my Versamark ink pad, the little square one, and this guy is all pretty dry. Like, he's pretty dried out. And I just dip him in some fine embossing powder, and it's just the cheap stuff from Michael's. And... I'm discovering that if I really want, well, I shouldn't say I'm discovering this, I've known for a while, if I really want it smooth, I have to do it multiple times, like this, this embossing powder is not super great quality, and it makes, like, I have to do this multiple times to get a, a smooth, glassy surface. Um, all I'm doing here is just smoothing out the little bit where my tweezers held onto it. And then I'm just going to ATG this sucker and nestle it right in there between our name and address. And um, it's really cute. I really like it. And for now, I'm, I'm just going to keep that little die cut there temporarily. Because um, while I'm sure all of you are fabulous people that can be trusted with my address, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there for now. All right, guys, this is day 16. And... Um, I'm actually scrapping day 17 right after this. I just decided to go for it and actually scrap 17 on 17. So um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching.